Welcome to my Command & Conquer General Zero Hour modding tutorial. I'm Yanis, and I will be your assistant and narrator for this episode. Or if you wish, you can call me Janice. First, we are going to start with the basic programs that you need. Um, first, we're going to start with a program to make your life easier. That is Notepad++. That is this beautiful program right here. You can see it has all these cool features like that. It counts the lines and you can have multiple um, text documents open at once. Command and Conquer General Zero Hour is um, specifically uh, created in, or rather the settings are controlled by document file, uh, text files to be exact. Um, they are known as INI files. Uh, the two main programs that you will need to be downloading is Final Big and the CSF Editor. And I will be showing you uh, a little bit of how they work in this uh, video. But before that starts, here's the links for the final.big. Same with CSF edi Editor. I will post these in the description below. Um, or I recommend just Googling this phrase. It's same with the including the understrokes to give you the exact link. Same with the CSF ed editor, and that will take you right to it. Alrighty, I will hope that you have uh, those downloaded. Um, if you want to actually review um, in the future or get ahead of me in uh, modding tutorials because you think that you can handle it, feel free to look at the coding ba basics number one and number two this is the link here again it will be in the description below um, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna go real quick how to use these particular softwares first we're gonna start with the final big software this is a very easy to use and simple software it both allows you to create and open the .big files, which are which are the archives that run General Zero Hour, and I'm pretty sure uh, regular Generals too. But I never did any um, editing for that. I've uh, started my modding days in uh, Regular Two and Yuri's Revenge. Um, so when you uh, first open up this program, you get this nice screen right here. You want to hit the file, it hit open, bam, boom. Um, it may not open up to the directory of Command & Conquer. It's pretty, it should be pretty easy to find if you're running on Windows 10. It'll be in your program files. Um, it's, as I said, it's really easy to find. Um, EA Games, Command & Conquer. I have specifically First Decade installed. Um, and then you just open up zero hour. The particular files you'll be looking for is the INI uh, zero hour and the English zero hour. You will open this up, extract all. Again, it'll bring up a little dialogue, or rather it won't. It'll um, rather extract all of it in the same directory that you opened it up in. And it'll create its own folder called data, as you can see right here. Secondly, the, uh, the next one is English mm -hmm. stuff. As you can see, there is other archives like maps um, that you can basically extract and you can modify the maps that, are, that come with the game. Same with the music um, and the terrain, the textures also, but I'll get into that later, but it's specifically textures and the W3D these are this is the art this is actually the terrain art this particular one but I think it might it were this one well I guess not it is this one right here this will have all the 3D models for all of the objects in the game include all right now that we are done with that I'm going to show you real quick how to create your own archives this program you can think of as WinZip or WinRAR or 7-Zip, whatever it's called. I forget. I have no idea. Um, just click New and you can 
You can change it into two types. I am not sure what the difference between the two is, but I've only used the dot big. I've only seen this once in a mod. I'm not sure what it really means at the end of the day. Uh, open up, click an OK, and now if you have any files you want to add to it, you can um, literally drag and drop them right in here. You just click this open, and you can put the files in there also. That's another way to do it. You can also use that to open up a new archive too. Um, that's the gist of that program. You uh, basically extract them to your zero hour directory and it will look similar to this mod. Um, as you see yours won't exactly look like this unless you extract more of those I and I's like the music one and the audio this is how it is. It would be sounds like that. There's all kinds of stuff. Um, say with tracks, and it would replace them. That's a little bit more advanced stuff that I will go in potentially later if there's any interest. Um, but anyway, when you extract it, you will get the I and I, and then the English. The English is where you will put a lot of the arts in the sense of icons. Um, it will also contain, as I was speaking earlier, the 3D models. But we'll get into that much later. After where you are familiarize yourself with this, um, refer to the coding basics number one and number two to get a more deeper understanding that I will not be going over in these videos, but I will occasionally mention in further videos as I am editing and just demonstrating the tutorial on how to add or edit or modify certain aspects. Alrighty, since we are done with the final dot big, we will move on to the CSF editor. Now, let's get back to our general zero hour directory. Again, I have first decade, and this is the uh, where my install is located, specifically. And since you hopefully extracted those two archives, you will have a data folder now. When you open up the data folder, we will go to English and we will see that there's this general dot CSF. Now earlier I asked you to download that program and what that will do, it will enable you to modify certain aspects. And what that looks like, you will download the program, you just open it up, you open it up this guy, and again it won't automatic it may not automatically go to your default thing so you might have to look into different directories to find it open it up and basically this is a reference file now if you want to do any modding in the sense of adding new units or let's say um, okay so um, this this is a reference point file and if you were to say add in anything you would need to make a edit to the CSF file for it to a to appear properly within the game otherwise it'll say missing object or something something like that um, a good example of this is if you read the coding basics it'll show you how to um, do some editing to the colors for your team as you can see yours will look somewhat like this you can just type in you just control F and type in color and it'll take you to the you know the next color and that's scheme but you can just really it should be right up there at the top anyway you can just scroll down real fast um, as you can see this won't look exactly like yours because I added black I added white and I added dark green purple and so on and so forth uh, as you can see the value is little different I have it as D red but that's because of the space that it is occupying within the game itself it doesn't have enough room for me to put in dark red so I just put in D red but for finding purposes in the sense of referencing it is known as dark red um, this goes into um, all kinds of stuff it's that simple um, stay tuned for other edits I will be making more videos. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.